got off the train at Oracle Park. Make my way. I'm actually going to go behind McCovey Cove to see if there's any batting practice. A lot of times these early games at 4 o'clock, sometimes they don't have BP. So here's the Willie Mays gate. A lot of people already lined up already. Yeah, so the Giants are warming up right now and going to begin batting practice. I was just coming over just here to see if the cage is up, and the cage is definitely up, so there'll definitely be batting practice. So I'm just waiting in line right now. We'll enter in about 30 minutes. Okay, so I uh, did the facial recognition, and I'm going on the shorter line now. Okay, I'm on the board. I'm inside the Oracle Park. This is the second ball I've ever gotten here. This is actually the first ball I've ever gotten inside the stadium. Actually got a ball outside the stadium on a kayak almost three, four years ago. Looks like they're taking the cages down. Yeah, I barely got in time to come in here to get a ball and they're taking the cages down. So I got lucky there. Guy got stuck out there with this photo recognition thing. Thought I'd get in faster, but I think I did get in faster. I had the Rockies hat on to see if I get a Rockies ball, and I just took off my shirt. I had a purple shirt on, and I took that off. Now I have an orange shirt and a cowboy hat. This is a single admission double header that was scheduled. So it was a scheduled double header. So I'm going to both games. And I'm on the board with one baseball, so that counts for the whole time I'm in there. I was thinking about uh, bringing a kayak for batting practice, but since the game starts in a double header, starts early and it's a double header, I decided just to opt out of it. I was thinking about coming, renting a kayak tomorrow for maybe a couple of hours during the game, and but then I have to get home late. Yeah, they're putting the batting cage away. Yeah, I feeling they were going to cut batting practice short. Nice standing room back here. Maybe I'll stand here a bit. There's a long game, so I got. I'm probably gonna do some standing a little bit for the lefties. Actually, a guard down here under the batter's eye. For the batting cages, they keep it behind the batter's eye and between the bullpens. Bullpens used to be on the sides along the foul lines. And there's only two stadiums left with the bullpens on the field, which is Tampa Bay and Oakland, which is gonna be closing this year. So there'll be one left. And then Tampa Bay will probably have their bullpens behind out off the field. So that's, those are endangered species right there. That's for sure. Oh, <laughs> I'm making my way upstairs to explore the upper deck of the stadium, get a nice view of the bay. Here's a bay bridge, view of the bay bridge. Get a nice view as you're going up, the Coca-Cola bottle, some the field area where they play wiffle ball, the kids play wiffle ball. So I want to drop this phone. <laughs> With a lot of time to kill, about an hour and a half to kill, I'm going to just take some video around the stadium, nice little patio area down there, probably for private events and stuff. Pretty nice, nice view of the city. The um, Salesforce building over there and the train station. Here's the train, it's called the uh, Muni. Coming into the station. I took that into the ballpark today along with the park. Here's a thing called Zappy you can use to charge your phone for a fee actually brought my power bank in so I don't have to pay anything. Guess what song they're playing. Oh. Oh, Def Leppard and Journey. Journey's coming home. <laughs> they're from the Bay Area. Nice view from here. Climbing the stairs. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been to the top of this stadium. I'm all the way at the top. See all the flags on there? You can see it, feel the wind coming through here. It's so windy up here. 
That does shade you from the rain. It's a little drizzling. We got Solaire. Guys, hits him pretty hard. Jung Hoo Lee bobblehead night tomorrow night. I mean, a day game, that is. I was thinking about going to uh, kayaking out the uh, McCovey Cove during the game, but I gotta check to see who's pitching if there's both lefties and most of the batters, switch hitters are gonna be hitting right handed. Got some power lefties like Otani. I'm sure that place is pretty packed when Otani's here. Well, the Dodgers and Otani are here. We got some food. We got crazy crab sandwich, which is crazy expensive. <laughs> Crazy expensive. They're on the field. Triple A Smart Home Security is proud to sponsor Safe at Home. Back in second, the center fielder, number nine, Brenton Doyle. Batting third, the second baseman, number seven, Brenton Doyle. Batting fourth, the right fielder, number 23, Chris Bryant. He won the doubleheader for your Oh, how 
ball. And dancing. Get a little dancing there. That's ball four anyways. Ah, left him stranded. Matt Chapman. Chapman hit a home run to put the Giants ahead in their win on Wednesday in L.A. His 14th home run of the year. Swing and there's a high drive. Deep left field. Man, did he crush this one way back there. Goodbye! Here, McCovey Cove. A lot of boats out here today. Stand close to the foul pole because most of them are righties. There's McCovey Dave right there in that kayak. Somebody else. Somebody else. Mark the shark. Loaded now, the Solera plate. Oh, it's gonna get a double play. And to get some food right now over the um, end of the fifth. There's plenty of baseball left. This game and a whole nother game. Might as well get something to eat right now. So I just got some chicken tenders and garlic fries. I'm just standing right here. I'm just eating my food. Towards the infield area. We got Lamont Way Jr. up. From the bottom of the fifth. I was standing right there like an inning ago. It went over there. The place is damn for foul balls. Stand up. Uh, when you're you're in the uh, yeah when you're in the outfield that's gonna be left of the foul pole. I wish I could have waited another inning. Can I wait another inning? I may have been able to get that one. Still one nothing. Giants. We're on the top of the top of the sixth inning. Well, it almost hits Las Diaz. Now we're gonna get jacked up and throw the ball. What's going on here? Why do you throw the ball back? He threw a foul ball back on the field. Second base umpire. Second base umpire not happy. Yeah, he's pointing over here. Yeah, I think the foul ball that came out here landed around here somewhere in this area. 
and down Michael Tolley, who also struck out twice against Blake Snell. This ball hammered to deep right, and it is gone. We have a tie ball game. Run to the seats over here. We got throw back. I came. Did they even get it? Yeah, so it's 1-1. One, one. Tied 1-1. One, one. The ball just need to get up a little bit. You don't even need a ticket to get the ball. That's the nice thing about this ballpark. <laughs> They are 0 for 10 with runners in scoring position. David's got a base hit. It's going to score two. And he's going to try for two. And he's going to make it. One score. Chapman up. Tag one out here. If you uh, your fans work, kept my seat warm. Oh, here it goes. Chapman. That's the uh, center fielder. <laughs> the show they'd be saying that <laughs> to me. <laughs> Get the dog. 
play. We'll get that one. Get that double play. Get that one. Review, review, review. Daily ice cream looks pretty good. I'll probably get some in the second game. Hot cocoa looks good too. Second, the designated hitter, number 19, Charlie Blackman. Blackman right there. Two is underway. Decided to sit right here, part of the game. Seeing these bleachers and no backrest. <laughs> Sitting there for uh, 18 innings is brutal. So we got black men at the plate. I think the guy can do some damage. So both starting pitches are right-handed, which means the switches are going to hit left-handed, which means more chances for balls to go to Levi's Landing and McCovey Cove. So they'll probably camp out on Levi's Landing. Oh, comes a ball. <laughs> oh, yeah, foul balls. <laughs> Foul ball duty. <laughs> Don't catch anything without a glove. I think it'll go 100 miles an hour, man. <laughs> He's got a base hit. Okay. I'm in home run territory for the lefties. Here comes Yastrzemski. Yaz had a triple in four at-bats in game one. Wrapped to right. And it comes off the bricks. Solaire is going to be sent home. And it is not in time. Yaz ends up at third, and it's 1-0. I'm going to 
get one of these, uh, hot fudge Sunday. <laughs> Second baseman hitting 259, three home runs, 18 RBIs. Left center field, a base hit. Here comes Chapman. He will score wisely. He's got a double, two nothing. That's got to feel good. And a bunt. The play's going to be made at home. Not in time, or they missed them. One or the other. So Black's got the hand up. They're going to take a peek. And I don't know, Mikey, about this one. After review, the call's been overturned. The runner's out. Colorado. So I just bought this Girardelli Hot Fudge Sunday for $15.50. I'm actually going to go sit down and eat it. Hopefully no foul balls come my way. A one seat. <laughs> Everybody wants a ball over here. They're probably going to toss it over here. It's probably going to come to me. <laughs> Scoreboard update, 2-0 Giants. <laughs> Scored a run while I was getting ice cream. We got a lefty and uh, he should be up on Levi Landing. Oh, we can hit it out of here. They don't count on a splash hit, but it's the other team that hits it. 103, 103 splash hits so far. Now that I'm done eating my ice cream, I can focus on the game more. <laughs> Give me a foul ball will come here just in time. It's me the Coke bottle and got the Bay Bridge in the background. Hank Williams Jr. and Hank Williams. Splash hit when I was at I'm out of this ballpark. You could probably do it. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Uh, nope, nope. Not not high enough. Damn. Nope. It, okay. Yeah, it just kill the cold air just kills it. It's too cold. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a splash hit in person. That was a foul ball, no. He's gonna stay straight. Uh, no, nobody got it. Four nothing Giants. <laughs> Two seconds to spare on the clock. <laughs> yeah. They got it. Pitch here. I'm gonna drive power. Now batting, the second baseman, number zero, Brent Wisely. This uh, walkway area. Yes. Somebody hits it out here. 
going to spend the last two innings in left field, left center field. Going to try to get a uh, bullpen ball after the game. Is Tyler Fitzgerald in that game, and he blasts one. I'm back at the hotel and it's actually the next day because I got home super late because uh, when I was taking the BART back they had a power outage between four stations so we had to get on and go to West Oakland and get off and either take a bus to the Coliseum where there is an operating BART station or take an Uber there. At first I was going to take the bus but I realized the lines are very long for the bus the buses were going to be packed like sardines and they're going to stop at every stop and the bar station closed at midnight so I wanted to get to the Oakland Coliseum BART station because that was the one that I could get on and get back to this hotel in Dublin Pleasanton so I took the uh, lift and it cost about $23 with tip so that's another $23 out of pocket um, the BART's would have cost me what seven dollars and change to get from San Francisco to the hotel so I took an uber cost an extra twenty three dollars then I got on from Oakland Coliseum to the hotel so I'm finally back here finally got back here like around midnight so anyways the final score for game two was five nothing and Giants won both games so I had a great time there and got one baseball first ball ever inside the stadium so anyways i want to thank you for watching like this video share this video and subscribe so you see future videos and i'll see you in the next one have a great day